Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to use the echo function in PHP to allow you to show text to the user of your website. Firstly we'll start by opening up the PHP tabs. And now we will write in the middle of those two PHP tabs echo space inverted commas hello world inverted commas again and a semicolon at the end the semicolon has to be put at the end of every line in PHP otherwise it won't work and we'll save that and I'll save that on my local host and it's index.php and now I will open up Internet Explorer type in the top local host and it should show what, what we just typed in it says hello world and that's what we told it to say by typing hello world into our echo function the echo function can also be used to display the text of a variable so we'll make a variable size of a dollar sign we'll call it dollar sign text and we'll say it equals so um, inverted commas again this is a variable inverted commas again and end with a semicolon again and instead of saying hello world in the echo function we'll get rid of that and we'll say dollar sign text still leaving the semicolon there and then we'll save it and we'll have a look at our website again we'll refresh it now it says this is a variable which shows that it detected what's in the variable and because we told to display the variable it displayed what was written in the variable you can also join variable text with another variable which could be like this dollar sign text two equals we could say and this is another variable and he was semicolon again we could save that but we haven't finished yet put a space in there after text dollar time text in the echo function the space the dot another space we'll say dollar sign text two and we'll save that and we'll go back to our website and we'll refresh it now notice how there isn't any space between variable and and that is because we forgot to put a space before the end there in the, in the text too so I'll put a space there and we'll save it now it should work it should be readable so we'll refresh that and now it's readable properly it's got all the spaces in it now we'll go back and we'll do something else We'll get rid of that space on the text too and we'll go down here and we'll after this dot we'll put a space and we'll use our inverted commas again and we'll say we'll just put a space in there and put another inverted commas and with another space we'll put another dot so it should show text it should show the text first and then it should show us nothing like a space and it should show text too. So I'll save that. And we'll refresh this. Didn't change. It's a good sign. But we'll put in here something really weird. Put in, I don't know, some letters. And it should show them up in the middle. And it did so you can join 
different texts together or different variables or whatever you want to join together using these dots we can even put another lot of text in beforehand saying something like this just this big capital letters and just save it and that should appear as well so you can join whatever you really want together using those dots and those can be added to the echo function so it just joins all these different functions joins all these different variables and words and everything together into what's required for your website giving you a lot of choices but that's how you use the echo function and I hope it's helped you